Everyone on base, until instructions are given, do not make a sound. Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. and 37 minutes, an unidentified flying object emitting a regulatory signal crashed into the Pacific Ocean. This is Rainbird. Eldridge, do you read? This is Eldridge. Floating object discovered, thought to be part of the cage. Point in 178 Did the cage sink to the bottom? That's very possible. Rainbow, drop a bullet at the point and come back. We'll have to take our scope. Roger. Chief! You don't have to yell, Mookie. I can hear you just fine. It's an emergency! Sharon's drowning in the e pool! Come quickly! I'm right above you. I'll be right there. Hurry, Chief! Releasing Navy Area Arm. Switch off Sea Fox automatic pilot system and adjust the blast. Roger. 
Seafox automatic pilot system off. Seafox, play ball. This time mermaid may be waiting for you. Yeah, I wish. If only they were real mermaids. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What the... What was that? Hey, stop! Seafox, do you read me? Seafox, what's wrong? that you were mad. I'm not mad. More importantly, Mookie, how's the little shark? Best conditions. Like the Yankees in 96. Why? What's up? An accident in the Navy area. We're the first to go in. You mean we get to go in and check out the Navy secret weapons with our own eyes? Hey, this is no joke, Mookie. You've got an important job to do. I'll fill you in later. Yes, sir. Okay, Mookie, let's slide on into home. Hurry up and get out, Mookie. Where's the key, Chief? You mean this? Thanks. I'll go first. Can't wait to get a look at the top secret weapons. You're slow, Chief. I didn't think you were that old. He's hurt. Hey, you okay? Kill... Kill me, please. What? Kill me, please. Stella, 
can't be. Gina Weisberg? Am I? Head researcher? Hey, can you hear me? Dr. Weisberg, I'm John Mayer of the ERS. For my early leave. Mookie, is it going to move? No sweat. I was rolling my gas convoy when I was three. Get a move on. We'll be back at the big table soon. Friend? Just kidding. Danny, there's a monster. We have to shut off this area. What was it this time? Another mermaid? It's true. I saw it. It was terrible. I'm sick of your horror stories. I'm not lying, right, Chief? Danny, maybe you should seal off the area. Well, I took care of the monster. Maybe you caught precious psychosis. That's Dr. Weisberg! I'll go to Commander Clancy's room. Not very friendly, huh? But she's beautiful. Mookie, go return Little Shark before the area is shut off. What? I told you there's a monster down there. Didn't you say you just took care of it? Okay. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go with you partway. Don't be scared, kid. Don't call me kid.
Fine. What happened? I'll save the details for later. If you don't escape quickly, Sea Fox is going to fall into the trench. Guess, guess I'm not as young as I used to be. Uh, the blast tank burst. A sad ending for the Sea Fox. Millions of dollars down the drain. Are you okay? I feel cold all of a sudden. This is Little Shark. Mission accomplished and returning. This is Big Table. The CCD area pool cannot be used because of the SEAL's DSRV. Wait a minute! Head towards the MI area pool. Over. No way! The MI area is in the opposite direction! What are they thinking? It's far, but oh well. I'm going to accelerate. Hold on. I'll go first and take a look around.
It's okay now. You should be able to go through at any time. What about you? I'll stay here a little more. I'll notify you when I found the creature's weak points. Okay. Be careful. John, thanks for everything. You're welcome, Dr. Weisberg. Call me Gina. <laughs> okay, Gina. John, what's happened to the big table? There was an accident. And you? I couldn't get out because of the air system damage. Look at this. I found this cell from one of the creatures. And this is a mouse's cell with the creature's cell implanted. What is this? The creature cell is transforming into the mouse cell at an unbelievable speed. Transforming? Right. This cell transforms into other living things and copies their original characteristics. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen it. A human turning into a creature. The transforming cell eats the original cells at a high speed and eventually takes over the body. Is there anything that can stop it? It must have a weak point. Something has to be done, but there isn't enough data. <coughs> Sorry, I have had this cold since last night. <coughs> cold? Have you been attacked by a creature? Any other symptoms besides a cold? I've been attacked a couple of times. Really, no other symptoms. Can I draw some blood? Am I, am I being taken over, too? I don't know, but it just hit me that you've been attacked and haven't changed. If you don't change, we may have a lead. I'll let you know the results. And what are you going to do? I have to get back to the CCD area. Okay. But to get out of this area, you have to go through the net lock system. And how do I do that? You need the help of an MI area researcher. If you could operate the air system, I could help you. But we can't go out because there's no air. Right. Oh. What about the chimpanzee? Anthony? I can't find him. I'm worried. The air system is running. Please help me release the net lock. Before that, I found two more things about the parasite cell. What? I didn't find a parasite cell in your blood. But I did find a cold virus and gave it to a mouse. The virus kept the parasite away. A solution? Not necessarily. It just means that the parasite cell does not enter bodies infected with a virus. The virus alone cannot fend off the parasite cell. Oh. But. There's one more important find. The parasite cell is weak in oxygen. Oxygen? For most animals, oxygen is actually lethal. Because of the low level, humans can live on Earth. This parasite cell has a lower oxygen tolerance than humans, so even the oxygen in the air weakens them. That means... If we fill the big table with a lot of air, then the parasite cell should weaken. Let's go release the net lock. Wouldn't it be polite if you told me your name first? 
Beach. You're right. I'm John Mayer, ERS. Rescue Squad? How do I know you're not a creature? I could ask you the same question. I'm coming down. Do I look like a monster? <laughs> In a way, yes. <laughs> I'm Anna Lawrenson, DN Company Diver. What are you doing here? Returning to the CCD area. The area lock is broken. It can't be repaired, but there is a way in. How? Easy. Torch the area lock panel and rewire it. Where can I find a torch? Find it yourself. I'm busy looking for Rambo. Rambo? A bulldog. My companion. I usually let him roam around here. If something happens, he usually returns right away. But in these conditions, I'm worried. So, I don't have time to talk. Bye. <laughs> Just for that, I'll tell you that the torch is in the DN area. Come with me to the CCD area. It should be safer there than here. No. I don't like Navy folk. Besides, I have this. I'll return to the DN area. Your own area is the safest. I'll give you this. It's the DN area spare key. Use it. Gondola ready. The seals are heading towards the air unit area. If they fight there, it'll be a disaster. Come with me to the launch area.
This is Eldridge. Our Harrier has fallen into the ocean. Prepare for impact. Commander, a large object is dropping this way. What next? Are they trying to pull me off first string again? what counts. Where are the seals? I couldn't help them. Well, one of them came back in the gondola. He was covered in blood from head to foot. Colonel McCoy? Where did he go? I don't know. I tried to help, but he brushed me aside and went away. This is Clancy. Mayor, come back to the CCD area immediately. There's danger of the energy unit area melting down. I have to go. Be careful. Sea Fox missile hatch is open. Either there was a malfunction, or someone opened it from the inside. I 
can hear water in the Sea Fox's torpedo room. A torpedo will be launched in less than 10 seconds. It has a sonar tracking device. Everyone on base, until instructions are given, do not make a sound. Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. that sound? It's the air unit area. Oh my god. immediately. Poseidon missile launch code deactivated. Two keys must be entered within the Sea Fox command room. Has the SEAL team arrived yet? The Coast Guard has arrived, but it'll be a while before the DSRV arrives. We don't have a minute to spare. Mayor, you were a SEAL Team 6 member, right? Didn't you have training in decoding nuclear missile launches? Uh, yeah, but... I'm sorry, we don't have any time. Get aboard the Sea Fox and take care of the situation. Go now! But, but... Your submarine should be able to dock with the Sea Fox. Just in case, I'll give you this. It's a standard weapon storeroom pass card. If something happens in the Sea Fox, use this to get a weapon. Good luck. Safe at home. Mookie, we have to go again. What? How come we get all the dangerous jobs? We don't have time to wait for the SEALs. But if it's nuclear terrorists, they would wipe us out with one missile. Let's pray that doesn't happen.
Everyone on base, until instructions are given, do not make a sound. Stop all construction work. I repeat, do not make a sound. This is not a drill. Lock the door from the other side. What's going on? Danny, we're escaping. Get ready to board the DSRV. Did Clancy say that? <laughs> My place is here. I'm not gonna leave. This place is about to melt down. I don't trust Clancy. Did you know that he sank a passenger ship on purpose? He wanted to raise his rank. He said it was an accident. <laughs> that was no accident. The sonar person warned him that a civilian ship was approaching. You seem to know a lot. Of course, I was the sonar person. That's why I can't trust him. People trying to get to Washington tried to cover it up, but it was found out in an internal check and taken to court martial. That's why he was sent here. He's the type who will kill a man for his career. Anyway, get ready to escape. Already there. Just have to move to the Navy area. There are a lot of creatures over there. Better to fight than to drown down here. How do you get to the energy unit area? There are a lot of different ways. The sea farm area elevator is the shortcut. Sharon knows that area well. Try going to the sea farm. Wait, what have we here? A torch. With this, I can torch the airlock door. Can I borrow this? Sure. Leave the area lock up to me, is what I'd like to say, but this is out of gas. You brought gas for the torch. Thanks. I couldn't get to the energy unit. The sea farm elevator was a no-go. How about the other way? Other way... The only other way is to go through the ocean. How? The little shark is damaged. By walking on the ocean floor. There should be big gym suits in the DN area. Big... gym. It's 
finished. We should be able to get through now. I have a favor to ask, John. If you see Anna, could you tell her that she doesn't need to act so macho? She's、uh, cute if she's quiet. Tell yourself. If I could, I wouldn't be asking you. Okay, I'll tell her. Sorry to make you wait. Get on the lift when I give the signal from the control room. Here, I'll give you this. It's the Navy area ID card key. You'll need this for the Navy area. I owe you one. Okay, anytime. Someone there? Who, who are you? John Mayer, ERS. <laughs> Can't get away from you. It's me, McCoy. Colonel McCoy? Stay where you are. Listen from there. The time I have left is short. No. Yes. My body is being taken over by a creature. <laughs> I can't remember. 
I... this is called Iron Fist. I'm reaching my end. <coughs> John, there's something I want to tell you. What? About Stella. At the time of the accident, you probably tried all you could to save her. Yes. These three years, I needed to talk to you, but if I did, I would blame myself for letting you and Stella go. <coughs> Colonel McCoy. Don't come any closer. I don't want you to see me like this. I always thought of you as a brother. I wanted to give this to you. After you and Stella got married. Colt, I'm M1991 A1. It's from my father's generation. The pride of a strong America. I wanted to give you this. Okay, go. Iron Fist is gonna take his last shot. What? What are, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna blow this place. Get out of here. Don, kill a creature for me. I'm taking you with me, damn monster! I did as you told me. Oh, oh, the last thing to do is to escape. John, can I push the detonator? The building is like my child. I have to do it. It's all yours. Jim is damaged. There's a tunnel that leads to the big table. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I can't go in this condition. Don't give up. <laughs> I've made up my mind, John. Get out of here. I don't want to hurt you. 
I will open the tunnel door for you with the remote. But, but hurry and go! Or Sharon's life will be wasted. found Anthony. Yes. Are we clear from the meltdown danger? Yes, but I couldn't save everyone. I think you're doing wonderful, John. Don't get down on yourself. tell you. The monsters. About the parasite cells. What? They're alternating generations and seem to be definitely evolving. Evolving? Let's get out of here. Yeah. How much longer will the base last? The air unit is broken, so the atmospheric pressure has gone crazy. A couple of hours, maybe less. Well, either way, I'm heading for the Navy area. Be careful. You too. Commander Clancy! Gina, wake up! John, I'm okay. I just fainted. What happened? As soon as I entered the room, Commander Clancy... No! Wait! Clancy! What do you mean? <laughs> Don't be scared. My life means more than all of you small fish. I can't end my days here. I need to get the back at the people in Washington who treated me like a criminal. The survivors. I can't let them live.
pressure is dropped. There is danger of an explosion. All base staff are to evacuate the premises according to the manual within the next five minutes. I repeat, the base atmosphere pressure is dropped. What are you going to do, John? It's Danny. You're still around, Johnny boy. It looks like Clancy betrayed us. I knew it. Hurry up and come to the docking area. There's no time to lose. I'll go with Danny to the Navy area and wait for help. Go ahead. I'll protect you. Okay. Where's Danny? Anthony ran away again. Danny said he'll bring him back. Oh. You should be at the table. Okay. I've had it with him. He bit me, and he's a troublemaker. Go over to your owner. Okay, I'll push the button in the control room. Wait, and I'll get on it right away too.
We've got to live so Danny's death isn't a waste. Let's go to the control room. I'll cover you. Okay. Let's go, Anthony. Can you work this? Yes, I think so. Gina, wake up! Mm. John, what happened? The Navy area seems to be have flipped over. We'll have to wait for help. That is if this place holds. There should be a wireless here. Call for help with that. The radio's broken. Anthony's gone. Why? Do you worry about Anthony so much? Anthony was always alone. I grew up in an orphanage. I could never count on someone and had no real friends. 
Anthony's like that, too. He wanted friends. I know that feeling well. We're alike in a lot of ways, and we understand each other. When I found Anthony, I felt like I had somebody. I wasn't alone anymore. He'll come back. I know. There should be parts for the radio somewhere. Maybe you could repair it with them. You stay here. What's this? John! Gina! Tell me everything. Forty years ago, as an experiment, Anthony was shot up into space and returned to Earth. He was in a near-death state. It was almost like hibernation. Commander Clancy was the leader of the pod recovery plan. The Deep Blue Plan. He saw Anthony's condition and thought of something. What? If Anthony's body's mystery could be solved, then it would be possible to develop a cold sleep apparatus making longer space travel possible. Cold sleep? Clancy completed this idea very quickly, so he could again try getting into Washington. If the cold sleep system worked, he could get his promotion and fame. So he started a research program. You knew this and let Clancy use you for his egomaniac plans? If the plan succeeded, not only would extended space travel be possible, people suffering from incurable diseases could be helped. As a scientist, I felt I had to be part of this. When the research started, we found that it was a sudden bacterial change that caused Anthony's suspended animation. But by then it was too late. And the result is this. I couldn't kill Anthony. I mean... Because of him, the people at the big table died. He spread the parasite itself. It's just instinct for him to save his kind. He didn't mean harm. If you don't mean harm, does that mean you can do anything you want? I understand how you feel, but he can't be allowed to live or taken back to land. Stop, John, please. For all. No, no.
Um, it should take you to the scissors. What's wrong? Hey, I'm um, saving you.